Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. For today, I have another what I eat in a day, but I really wanted to, with the sugar in the background there, I really wanted to do this one super vlog style. If you follow me on my vlog channel, then this whole, like my kitchen and everything, it's really familiar to you because I vlog all the time on my vlog channel, like I said, lots of fun things there. So make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel if you aren't already. I'm gonna leave the link on, I believe here. Anyways, I'm excited because today I'm pretty much just going to be sharing with you everything that I'm eating. So I am still on a weight loss journey. It has been a journey. I've actually recently marked my two years and I have lost 42 pounds. Before we get into that, I do want to share with you guys the LifeSum app. You know I've worked with them for a little while now. I love LifeSum. Such an amazing app. So I am currently on a calorie deficit. So what a calorie deficit is, it's just that you're eating less then you are burning in a day, which equals weight loss. So I love life some because it really helps me count my calories and stay on track. Nowadays, I tend to be a little bit more loose and I don't necessarily track every single day, but in the beginning of your weight loss journey, this is so important. If you wanna maintain a healthy lifestyle or embark on a fitness journey, I feel like it's really important to just be knowledgeable on calories and everything. So I love how the life some app really helps you kind of keep track of everything. You can also count your macros, which is awesome. If you upgrade, to the premium there's just so many more features i personally use the premium because i just feel like i like the extra features that i get what i love about it is you get a bunch of recipes so if you want extra recipes and you kind of get bored with what you're currently cooking i love how you can just go to the same app that you use to count your calories to find some recipes you know what i mean and they also have different meal plans so if you guys want to go ahead and use lifesum just check the description box you can actually download lifesum for free it's a free app so i'll leave the link down there but if you want to get the premium version which is my favorite you can go ahead and get it for 30 percent off if you use my specific link which i will also leave down below for you guys so thank you so much to lifesum and thank you to you guys because if it wasn't for you your girl wouldn't be getting these opportunities so Thank you but it is currently 11 23 so it's a little bit later in the day than it normally would start off i woke up this morning at like 9 30 and i normally do wake up around 9 30 and i normally eat breakfast around 10 but this morning i had to i had to put on some makeup for you guys to look presentable you know so it took me a little longer but i'm getting really hungry now i got lipstick all over my little cup um, but yeah, I'm getting really hungry now. We're gonna start making breakfast. I've been obsessed with protein pancakes. So let me show you guys what I'm gonna make. So these are the Protein World pancakes. Not sponsored by Protein World or anything. I just really love them. Um, I've gone through two, three tubs of this already. Like I love this stuff and I'm not kidding. It's all I've been eating for breakfast. Sometimes I sit down and I'm like, okay, Amy, like when are you gonna stop eating pancakes for breakfast? Like it's, it's getting a little bit much here, but I'm obsessed and I love it. So I get 10 grams of protein with this and it's 170 calories. I really like it. Um, and it just tastes really good. Like it literally tastes like a real pancake. Okay. So the first thing I do is take a bowl, obviously. Oh, it already comes with a scoop. Duh, Amy. You know this. So I normally do about four scoops of this and I like to use water. So I'm gonna go into my fridge and put some filtered water in here. So this is how it's currently looking and I'm just going to mix it all up. And there you go. So you kind of want to mix it until it's like this. So I'm heating up my pan and I'm just going to use this. This is a butter flavor canola oil spray. It's just to obviously use a nonstick pan. That way you don't have to really worry about putting that much spray. And then I'm just going to pour my mixture in. I like to put it low medium medium low heat and just make one big pancake so i just get regular chocolate chips from the grocery store these are actually milk chocolate from hershey's and i only put about 10 because if you put more than that it's just you know it's like too much it's like 10 or 11 ish ideally i would like dump the whole bag in there because i love chocolate <laughs> but it's it's too much like you know so weight loss is all about like moderation and balance and portion control you can eat anything you want as long as it's in moderation if it's like a super bad food um and then you can eat whatever you want on a daily basis just you know control the portions so yeah so i really like bananas on top of my pancakes but i don't really like a lot like i'll literally probably just take like a quarter of this um and i love my bananas when they're still like super yellow kind of greenish not that many brown spots they just taste so good to me so that's what i'm gonna have 
So I'm gonna flip my pancake now. So while I just flipped the pancake and that is cooking on the other side, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to calculate my breakfast on LifeSum. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and tap add breakfast. So we're gonna do that. Then you wanna just search up your food in the little search bar. So I'm gonna type protein world pancakes and you'll see it right there. So I'm gonna add four scoops. So I also just added my syrup, my um, chocolate chips, and my, what's this called again, banana. <laughs> and then it just shows on the screen how it's updated. So I've eaten already this amount and this is how much I have left. So I just feel like it makes it super simple and like easy because it's all laid out there. Okay, so our pancake is donezo. So I'm just gonna add my banana on top. I like to do thin slices because it's like, if you thin it slicely, the warmth of the pancake will warm up the bananas and then it just tastes so good. Thank me later. I love the taste of this one, the Anjamama light syrup, so I use this one. Um, but I do actually have a little bit of the Protein World zero calorie syrup mixed in here to make it less. So I'm just gonna put a little bit or a lot, you know. And there you have it. Breakfast is done. Like that looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this right now. I'm actually about to go watch the rest of season two of Ozark and eat this bad boy. Yummy. Okay, so it's now about 2, 11 to 12, so two o'clock and I am getting hungry for lunch. So yesterday I made a really yummy lunch, which is buffalo chicken with Caesar salad and I really loved it. So I'm gonna have it again today. So how I make my buffalo chicken is I buy these. These are the prime um, breaded chicken strips. I love these because the calories and macros are really good. Like a lot of different chicken strips are literally 300 calories. This is the only brand or one, this one in Jane's, but these are bigger than Jane's. Anyways, uh, one of the only brands that I found that two pieces is 220 calories. Yeah, something like that. These are already defrosted. I'm gonna have two. You can also make burgers with these. I do that all the time and I'll just have one instead of two, obviously. Okay, so let's make some salad. I have my bowl here, and what I love is getting salad kits because they're already cut up. I mean, it's just super easy. My favorite is this one by this brand because I love what it comes with, and this is like starting to go bad, so I kind of want to just finish it. I'm gonna actually just have whatever's left in here. I'll just eat it all today. Can never have enough lettuce. And I'm gonna pick out the pieces that are kind of going bad. I tried to pick out most of the pieces, but I can always skip over them as I'm eating it. So anyways, this exact salad kit comes with um, Parmesan cheese already, which you could totally do without it, you know? Um, I, to be honest, I add like a really small amount of Parmesan cheese just because I wanna keep this low calorie. One thing, one thing about salads is they're really healthy, but they can go from healthy to like, whoa, too many calories will real quick. So you wanna watch what toppings you're putting in your salad and you wanna watch what dressing you're using and how much cheese. So I'm only gonna put a little bit of that, but what I love is that it comes with this like seasoning and it just adds like such like little good flavor, you know? I really like it, I don't even know what this is. It's some sort of like mixed herb. So I am gonna add a little bit of that seasoning. I don't like to overdo it. So for salad dressing, I love this one. This is the um, Kraft Calorie Wise Caesar dressing. I love Caesar, but it can be you know kind of high. But Kraft makes a really good one. It's only 30 calories for a tablespoon. So I tend to stick to that serving size. So it's about one, two, three, four-ish kind of drops. So just that maybe even just three if you wanted. And then I will take a plate and mix it up. And there you go, your salad is mixed up and done. I'm just going to flip the, whoa, kind of burnt it. Okay, Amy, okay. So last thing for my salad is I'm just gonna add some of the cheese on top, but I'm not gonna add a lot. I'll literally do like the tiniest little bit. Like, that's it. Okay, so for the buffalo chicken, this is the sauce that I use. 
It's from President's Choice. Just try to find one at your local grocery store, but what I love about this one is it's zero calories, so you really can't go wrong. And I'll literally just pour it on. Turn it over. Put more on the other side. Okay, I kind of put a little bit too much. But it's all good. Just gonna put it on low and like let it simmer for a little bit. It only needs like a minute or two. And it'll the sauce will kind of start baking into the chicken. Okay, so our buffalo chicken is ready. This is so good, you guys. Like, oh my god. So that's it. Lunch is done. How good does that look? Like, literally. I feel like I could totally order this at like a restaurant or something. What I love too is you're cutting a little bit of carbs um, by having a salad instead of like bread or a burger or rice or something. And I don't know, I'm really into Caesar salad lately. So I'm excited to dig into this. So it's about four o'clock right now and I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, but it's too early for dinner, obviously. I usually like to wait until five or six for dinner. So I'm just gonna have a little mini snack and I love this for a snack. This is just turkey breast extra lean slices, smoked slices. This is my favorite brand and it comes like this. So it's like just a really good value as well, but I just love the way that these are sliced and the way that they taste. But they make such a good snack because they're so low cal and high protein so you're just getting a really good macro calorie healthy friendly snack if you're trying to lose weight so i'll typically if i'm just having a snack like sometimes i'll have four slices just really depends because i'm gonna have a pretty big taco dinner i'm just gonna go for about two slices of turkey as a little snack oh wow would you look at that there's two oh there's three left so you know what i'm just gonna have three there you go. Okay, so it's dinner time now. I have my pan heating up. I am just gonna add a little bit of oil. Don't really need much because the beef already will add some. So I'm actually going to keep the heat on the lowest option and just cook it slowly. Add some salt, add some garlic, black pepper. paprika, and some chili powder. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and just shred up some lettuce. So fast to whip up like literally so I'm just gonna add a little bit of heat to that one and start cooking or toasting whatever you want to call it the tortillas I am using 100 calorie tortillas so make sure you check all the brands to find out the best one so now I'm just gonna put my beef in them equally And I like my tacos, oh, I almost forgot my sour cream. So I like my tacos pretty plain. I am just going to add some cheese. And some lettuce. And then I'm just taking 5% sour cream. And only taking a little bit. So I know that a lot of people say, hey, you can use Greek yogurt to replace sour cream. Well, I honestly just don't see any reason for that because then I can just have the real thing. This is literally 20 calories for a full tablespoon, I believe. So for two teaspoons, it's 30 calories and I'm not even using a tea, like a full one, you know? So there's just no reason to like replace it, you know? <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much it. I feel like that was so quick to make. It took like 10 minutes, I wanna say. Yeah, the camera's been rolling for 12 minutes now, so there you go.
Okay, so I think I forgot to tell you guys what time it was when I was cooking dinner. It was actually 5 o'clock and now it is 6.30 and you already know I need some dessert. So I actually found these at the grocery store like two weeks ago and I was so happy to find them. These are the no sugar added addition um, ones and this is just chocolate pudding but because there's no sugar added, it's so much less calories than the regular pudding. This is only 50 calories for this whole little thing right here and if you look at all the other ones they're like a good hundred hundred and thirty so I love this it just makes a good little snack whenever I want something sweet and it really satisfies me so that's pretty much it um, if I get hungry again later on like before bed or something I might just have some strawberries but that's pretty much all that I ate today so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video